And they are currently stuffing backpacks and so much more for area students in need. Let's find out uh, all the details right now with Cindy Smith, who is the executive director of the Caring and Sharing Exchange. Good to have you here, Cindy. It's, uh, it's the time of year. It's that time of year, yeah. Back to school is coming up. Some, I think the French boards actually started this week. And, uh, I think I saw some school buses next out week, today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we going back to 1915 as far as your organization is concerned? It's been we a while. are, yes. Yeah. So uh, we started back in 1915 during war times hmm. and uh, with only the Christmas exchange program. Yeah. But now, of course, we've grown to other, to other things. So. All kinds of things going yeah. on. Let's talk about the needs. So there's, there's a lot of applicants this year. Right. We had 3,370 applicants this year. Wow. Yeah, so over the last three years that represents a 63% growth, mm -hmm. which is uh, pretty pretty Not overwhelming. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, children are really like are really in need this time of year. They are, yeah. I mean, they just want to start school on an equal footing with all their peers and, uh, you know, to fit in and to be ready to learn and uh, having a nice new backpack and new supplies. Yeah really helps them out. Yeah, we need to focus. I mean, it's families, but it's children. Like, we're talking children here. Yeah. And I couldn't imagine going to school not prepared. No. You know, and not having the tools, just the, just the necessary tools. That's right. And just um, having two boys myself, I know how expensive it was to, to purchase the school supplies and everything needed. So mm -hmm. it's overwhelming. Some difficult decisions have to be made for parents on already tight budgets. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are these backpacks distributed exactly? So we work with other um, social service agencies and what they do is they refer their clients in need to us mm -hmm. for this kind of support. So we have kind of one of two ways. The agencies pick them up and distribute them to their clients or we have some clients that come to us directly to pick up. Okay, and a lot of good people have been on board obviously with this program, so maybe you can uh, tell us some of the organizations? Sure, I mean there's been so many. I mean Giant Tiger is a great organization. I know Rogers TV yeah. did a wonderful uh, backpack drive for us, so we're thrilled about that. Many, many great individuals helped us with donating money and supplies and uh, I mean, we couldn't be more grateful. Mm -hmm. We see some hardworking Rogers TV employees here. Yes. Uh, I know it was something that we were involved in in the past couple of weeks, and that's uh, uh, super important for us to be a part of it. Uh, can you tell us about the Sharing in Student Success program? So with this program, it started in 2011, and uh, as you mentioned, we help children um, from families in need to go back to school with everything they need. We look to the local school boards to kind of get the list of what they need for their grade, grade appropriate uh, supplies and, and that's kind of how we do it. Okay. We do a giant backpack packing day um, where we have some of our corporate partners come out and help us pack. This year there was an overwhelming um, mm -hmm. number of backpacks and uh, we still continue to go until we've helped everybody. Okay, and, and it is, I mean, it's, it's serious, but it's, it's fun. You guys have fun. Oh, we do have fun. Packing we always these, have fun, uh, yeah. Packs, and you can see all these people there. Yeah, a lot of volunteers obviously make this happen. So I know that you have brought uh, some backpacks with you and some materials. Now, are you saying that people can still donate? That there's still time, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. We still have about 150 children on our list, so we're still kind of struggling to get there before the beginning of school. We're hoping, I know the community always comes through, and we're hoping that, uh, that we'll make it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we do we do have the libraries collecting um, school supplies for us, and people can make a donation at caringandsharing.ca, mm -hmm. um, and the most needed items and the list of libraries can be found there as well. Okay, and it is as simple as picking up a Paw Patrol backpack, perhaps, or one with flamingos on it, whatever you desire. Whatever really. you desire, yeah. <laughs> but, and then, like, the necessary stuff. You see, you see notebooks, you yeah. see uh, uh, binders. Um, kids just need to have this, and they I can't do. imagine them not going to school without it. So, That's right. uh, very impressive. Uh, so, so how you said donations financial donations are obviously something because yes. that probably goes a long way it does yeah actually we can uh, we work with our retail partners we're able to um actually turn turn one backpack into three hmm. and uh so we can go a little bit farther with our money we buy in bulk and then we have great retail supporters so okay yeah so the donations are still available to be received but uh unfortunately the list for people who will receive them is closed at this point. Right, you, yeah. You needed to have a cutoff time. We needed to have a cutoff time, yes. Okay. Um, just to be prepared and to, uh, you know. Looking forward though to 2020 for people who might be a, want to be a part of this uh, next year. When, when would you start taking applicants? Uh, we typically start around June. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, we work with other nonprofit agencies. So if you're involved with one already, um, you know, go to your local agency and see if, if they have a referring list and they're able to do that for you. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I hate to talk about it, but at the same time, I'm excited to talk about it. The Christmas exchange is obviously oh, something yes. that you still do. <laughs> <laughs> we it, do. We're not quite yeah. there yet, yeah, but uh, not quite. what is it all about? Uh, so we help 
families and individuals in need and we do basically a festive Christmas meal whether it be through a hamper that's delivered mm -hmm. or through a redeemable gift voucher where they can buy their own meal. Mm -hmm. And that will be here before we know it. So that's why Hard people to need to yeah. start thinking about it, right? If that's it's in right. them to, to give, that's obviously. Right. Volunteers, obviously, a huge part of what you do. Huge part around. of what we do, yes. Okay, we so have you're always looking forward to getting volunteers always, on Always, yes. And we post some opportunities on our website, and there's also an application form on our website for people that want, are interested in volunteering. All right. People should hold a fundraiser for you, collect cash, collect uh, help with the Christmas exchange, help with this right. program, of course, obviously. Uh, for more details, where exactly are you located if people want to drop off? Uh, we actually are taking donations at the public libraries. At the public libraries. And that's, okay, the, that's the, the, the list of it. libraries is available on our website. All right, caringsharing.ca yeah. is the place to go to. Thank you very much, that's Cindy right. Smith. Thank you. You do amazing things uh, in, in the, the, the capital region for the kids this time of year, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. More daytime coming up in moments. I'm Dylan Black. This is Rogers TV.